So today we're doing a cap shootout and what we've got are some guitar tone control caps including a uh, Sprague 022 600 volt DC 160P which is supposedly the exact same composition as the Sprague Bumblebee from 59. Uh, we have an O2 200 volt Canadian made um, cap supposedly the same composition. We have a Mojo paper and oil uh, 0.022 we have a Japanese made 0.02 paper and wax. We have a uh, Mojo Dijon, which is a, uh, a Mullard mustard copy. We have a um, Cornell Dublier 400 volt 0.02 made in USA from the 60s, which should be the similar composition to the Sprague. We have a Mallory 150 and we have a Gibson disc cap from pulled from a recent Gibson guitar and how we've got this wired is we've got them all wired to a ground bus we've got an input and an output jack actually the same deal either way and we've got a clip uh, going from the hot side to be able to clip to our caps and in line with the clip we have a 180 K resistor which would simulate a guitar tone control turned turn down about halfway so that we can hopefully very clearly hear the effects of these caps. Well this is very very interesting. I've already been trying stuff and there's some definite definite odd things going on. They're very subtle. This is the 160P. And what's really noticeable about it is the sustain, the, the tail of the note almost pulses. So it's like pulse, 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 pulse. Almost like I'm shaking the guitar, which I'm not. It's still going. And it's sort of cycling, as you can hear. Hopefully you can hear. Uh, the other interesting one is this Canadian-made one, which should be a similar composition. already gone and about half the harmonics are there as it fades out. The uh, mojo is brighter, has a sort of a similar decay but again it's already gone and what was noticeable with the 160p was the incredible sustain. Here's a surprise. The Mojo Dijon O2 Now some voices have dropped out but it's still going. Let me rest my fingers and redo that chord. So now only the plain strings are still ringing, which is interesting. The wounds are gone. Whereas with the 160P, those wound strings were still ringing. Very interesting. It's really weirdly subtle stuff, but it's actually shocking what a difference there is. This is the wax, wax and paper O2. It sounds horrible. It's the fastest decay and all the harmonics are gone. Very similar to the ceramic. With the ceramic, the note is covered, 
and all of the top is already gone and all, not even the single it's like it's dead already gone Mallory 150 it's pulsing like the 160p Pulse, pulse, pulse. news is uh, still it's only half the decay time but the Mojo Dijon is actually fairly close interesting stuff. Fascinating. Okay, so to sum up, there are three things uh, you, that change when you're listening to caps. Um, uh, the, the muddiness of the cap, um, which uh, the paper and oil types I've tried and the bigger foil ones uh, do not have as much mud as the ceramic disc, which was the clear loser. The ceramic disc also killed all sustain. Uh, on single note runs, uh, the odd character of the foil and paper caps, which are what most of these are, really came out. And uh, interestingly, the orientation actually makes a difference in the voice of the cap. One way sounds dull and lifeless, and with the foil stripe towards the pickup side, and the side you're not supposed to ground grounded, the cap really comes alive and adds all sorts of swirly stuff to the tone. Uh, the final other thing is that the, um, the caps must have very high inductance because the closest I've been able to come to reproducing uh, the correct tone is by strapping a very small inductor in series with the cap. There's also a pulsing thing going on which is related to the actual cap value, almost like it's absor uh, charging and discharging like a tremolo system. Very interesting. Pulse, 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 pulse. almost like you're shaking the guitar. It's almost like a Bigsby. I mean, I am shaking the guitar, but... Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank you.